New this morning, a change for the military. The don't ask, don't tell policy officially ended at midnight. The 18-year-old policy prevented homosexuals and bisexuals from openly serving in the United States Armed Forces. Tenio Sykes, Katie Collette, live now in Norfolk with the details. Katie, good morning. Good morning, Don and Carrie. The repeal of the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy certainly met with some mixed reviews. Opponents predict lifting the ban will harm the military, increase the rate of assaults, and undermine the, quote, American way of life. Now, those in support of the repeal, well, just take a look. This U.S. Navy officer and his now husband married at midnight in Vermont. Lieutenant Gary Ross says he no longer has to live a lie every day he goes to work to serve our country. This also means a number of service members discharged for their sexual orientation can re-enlist if they choose. I look forward to resuming my career as an officer and a leader in the U.S. Air Force. I believe that gay and straight service members around the world will be celebrating and embracing this change. Now, the military making this seem like a business as usual day. The Army released a statement saying only, quote, the law is repealed, end quote. Uh, Army officials also say soldiers are expected to treat one another with, with respect as always. In the meantime, in just about a half hour here in this area, a group in support of gays, lesbians, uh, bisexuals, and the transgender community are expected to hold a protest here. You'll hear their message coming up at 6.30. Live in Norfolk, Katie Collette, 10 on your side.